So I don't know if this video should go in my decluttering series because I know everybody has different definitions for the word decluttering, but I'm pretty sure a factor that is the common denominator among everybody's definition is that you should end up with less things at the end than you started with. And that is not going to be the case in this video <laughs> because I'm going to be moving a lot of things from my laundry room under my sink or back under my sink where they came from. And at the point that you guys first see under my sink, there's less stuff that's going to wind up at the end, if that makes sense. There was more stuff under the sink, so I probably did technically declutter. It's just you guys didn't see the before picture before my sink started linking and we had to get everything out from under there. You're only gonna see the like, as linking. You're seeing the middle of the story is the beginning of your story, but it's really the middle of our story because under the sink did look like every other area in my house, like my bathroom sink. If you guys remember, I opened the door, just things would fall on me. That was under the kitchen sink too, but out of necessity, in order to get a bucket under there to trap the sink dripping stuff, we did have to take everything out from under the sink. And after weeks of ignoring the problem, eventually stuff migrated back under the sink. And now we finally have a plumber actually scheduled to come out and fix it so now I need to get everything that migrated back under the sink out of the sink out from under the sink and then hopefully with the goal of getting everything that belongs back under the sink back under the sink once the sink has been fixed this is gonna be a very confusing intro I'm sorry <laughs> it's a confusing time My name's Chastine. If you're new here, I'm on a mission to become a better homemaker one day at a time. I guess I'm going to make this episode seven. Is this seven or is this six? Boy, I'm losing count as it gets getting up there. I believe this is episode seven. Episode seven of my massive whole house decluttering where we're going room by room, inch by inch, cleaning, decluttering, and reorganizing every square foot of my very tiny two bedroom apartment. And so far in this series, we have gotten about halfway. No, not halfway. Chastine, give yourself credit where credit's due. We are three quarters of the way, <laughs> gosh. We are three fourths of the way done with my living room and my bathroom under the sink area. And today, because we have a new addition to our house, which you will be seeing a tour of shortly, we are going to be tackling under the sink area of our kitchen. Which, because I did not get a good before shot before the initial leak happened that made me clear out everything under the sink, by the end of this video, it's actually probably gonna look more decluttered than the beginning of this video. <laughs> but the laundry room will look better. It has to, right? Just by like physics of removing things. So this might be less of an under the sink decluttering video, more of an under the sink recluttering video, and the laundry room declutter part one. But I'm not sure if I want to count this as the laundry room declutter because I'm not ready to like tackle the entire laundry room. But taking everything out of the laundry room that belongs under the sink will make a substantial dent in the laundry room, I'm hoping. At least in terms of the visual clutter, like the immediate visual clutter when you open the laundry room and you're like, ah, it's a lot of stuff, like a third of that lot of stuff is the stuff that just needs to go directly back under the sink. And my cat's using the bathroom right there, so. <laughs> we'll give him a moment of privacy. And I don't know if I want to break the laundry room down into parts because I feel like my whole decluttering series is already in parts. So would it be weird to be like, this is episode seven, part one? <laughs> like if you see episode seven, part two come up, are you going to be like, what? Okay, that's too many numbers, Chastine. We're just cleaning. Yeah, I didn't think this through before I started it, I guess, obviously. Do I ever think anything through? So I want to show you guys what's going back under the sink, but it's not going to be as organized as, you know, other things. I also don't really have anything to organize it with. I don't have like any kind of shelving in there or even really baskets. I'm kind of out of baskets. The one basket that everything is in doesn't actually fit under the sink. It would be great if it did. Then I could just like, pfft, pfft, done. <sighs> if only organizing were that easy. So if I do put this in the decluttering series, this is gonna be like the first video where the after shot is more cluttered than the before shot. But at the end of the day, I'm not doing this <laughs> for YouTube content. I'm doing this to get my house clean. 
So, I, I, I don't know. If this particular video you watch it and at the end you're like, Chastine, that should have just been a clean with me, that should have been decluttering, you can let me know and I'll just, I'll know for the future, okay? It'll be a learning lesson for us both. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna put it in decluttering because I feel like none of the other decluttering that comes after this for the laundry room or maybe even the kitchen itself is gonna make sense if you didn't see this part of it. So, I feel like it belongs with the decluttering because I think there's some people who just watch the decluttering so don't watch like the general maintenance clean with me because this isn't really a maintenance clean with me this is like project oriented I I'm probably overthinking this <laughs> let's just get on with it our sink is doing this so the sink has gotten even worse since the last time you've seen it there's like no way to even kind of turn it off like yeah <laughs> if I turn it over here it kind of drips but then like it's on the hot water okay are you gonna stop yeah. So, cannot wait for this to get fixed. This has been ruining my life. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the last time I'm going to be cleaning this thing. Well, not really. This part, like the apron part, the actual like sink sink is going to stay here, like the basin parts. So, I'll be cleaning these for forever. But, it's the last time I'll be cleaning this thing. And you might be asking, Chastine, why are you cleaning it if the guy's just going to replace it tomorrow? Good question. I believe the answer is hereditary. I have multiple people in my family who for their privacy are going to remain nameless that I have witnessed with my own eyeballs clean their houses for the housekeepers that were coming to clean their houses. Does that make sense? They pre-clean. <sighs> yeah, I got a comment recently about me pre-washing my dishes before I put them in the dishwasher. I didn't teach myself that. <laughs> that being said, I feel like this really does make sense because there's going to be a guy coming here to work on it. I just, it's going to be dirty and gross enough as it is. I feel like any part of that I can make just a little less gross would be helpful to him. Maybe. I hope. Uh, no, he's still probably going to come in and be like, how are you people living? <laughs> so we're going to clean the sink. We're going to take the stuff out under the sink, but I'm not going to reorganize it until we're done with the sink stuff. So that might be a separate video. I'm not sure if this is going to be a decluttering video or just a vlog. So we'll see what happens. If you're watching this, part, I guess it's a decluttering video. Okay, we're going to start by taking everything off the sink area. Some of this stuff might not be coming back. We'll see what makes sense and what doesn't. Don't you love all my fruit flies flying around? asked what this was I got this trip from my mom it's just a spray bottle this is a fancy one but for years I used a Dollar Tree one and it worked just fine till I broke it but it held up for years but I just squirt some dish soap in here whatever you like to use wow bubbles <laughs> and then you just fill the rest up with water and boom it's like a lot easier to manage than the squeeze bottle on your day-to-day -day basis and it stretches your dish soap a lot longer too pro tip Get to scrubbing. Scrub a dub dub. Get you all clean to leave the house tomorrow because you're graduating. Thank you for your service. Does that count as Marie Kondo? You've done this well, but you are no longer functioning, so you must go. all the rest up and by the way guys for future reference if you recommend a better way to clean the sink I'm all ears you know I love getting tips on how to do stuff better from you like I hate getting water back here but I don't really know how to avoid it if I want to like scrub down this area do I just not scrub down the area dry that up with a paper towel I guess try to get the whole area clean on to the plumber acting like I have my life together. Sure, my kitchen always looks this nice. Don't judge me. Turn 
off. Yeah. Just turn off, just for a little bit, okay? That's all I'm asking for. All right, we're gonna try some Windex or knockoff Windex to shine it because when I did that last time, that I like shine my sink, you know how the fly lady wants you to every night. I've, I've done it once. <laughs> but a couple days later, my husband was like, the sink looks really good. So we're gonna give that a go. Maybe we'll trick the plumber with it too. Slow drip is about the best we're going to get, I think. Look how nice and shiny that is. All right. Time to move to under the sink. Dun, dun, dun. I'm not looking forward to this part at all. Ooh, okay. It's not as bad as it could be because most of the stuff had gotten moved when the leak first happened under the sink into my laundry room, which I'm sure you guys have seen like a million times by now. But I still managed to put stuff back in here. I'll show you. This is currently what under my sink looks like. Wipes, always necessary. This I keep under the sink, even though it's empty. I use this as like my miniature trash bucket. I'll put like a plastic bag in it when I'm prepping vegetables or something on the kitchen counter because there's such little room that if I have the dishwasher open putting dishes in it while I'm like trying to clean up after myself, that doesn't happen all the time. But when I'm like on my game, I end up closing the kitchen door where the kitchen trash can is. So I kind of keep this out as like a mini trash can and it's more convenient because it's on the counter. So then when I'm chopping stuff, I can just be like, psh, psh, psh. And then when I'm done, I can take this and empty it out in the trash can. So works really well. Dishwashing detergent. This is another thing my mom recommended. She said put this in here in case there's a leak. It's just easier to like clean up, I guess. Fresh cut flowers. My husband's stuff and his gardening. I don't know if that belongs in here. Ant stuff. I'm definitely going to have to reorganize this. That's not going to happen in this video. Or if it is in this video, it's probably going to be on another day. Guaranteed it's going to be another day because I'm not going to do it before the guy comes and he's not coming until tomorrow. So we'll do it another day. Hand sanitizer. Hmm. Could have used that already. Scotch guard. Yeah. I don't even know if I want to keep all this stuff under here. That's, I don't know, dryer sheet under there. Spare parts. That looks kind of important. I don't even know what you are. Hmm. All right. Ooh. Yeah, back when I was keeping my uh, cutting boards under here. I don't know if I should try to save that. Just soap for when I run out. Another old coffee can. We're keeping our like used oil in here so it fills up and we can dispose of it properly. Our bug spray. Is this empty? Why am I keeping this? This is empty. I guess I'm waiting to find a use for it. Ugh, I'm getting the gross stuff. Guess that fell out. Another cutting board. I don't know if I should keep these. They go like we're under here when a leak happened to be used. Boy, I have a lot of like containers that I might use. Outdoor paint. All right, this is pretty gross. Now this bucket, fortunately, doesn't seem to have a lot of water in it. At one point, this was leaking and we had a friend come over and tighten it up and fix it, but we kept this in here in case it leaked again. It obviously did leak a little bit again because there's water here unless it just overflowed from the top. I don't know that, how that works. Yeah, that's gross. 
All right, this is grosser than the bathroom was. At my bathroom declutter, a lot of you guys said that some magic erasers would help with the rust stains. So I definitely want to try that out. I have not purchased them yet as of the filming of this video. So we're just going to wipe the loose dirt. Some of this is cockroach droppings, I'm sure. Some of this is actual dirt from the bucket because we grabbed it just like last minute from the garden. So it's like physical dirt from outside. For the sake of the plumber, we're just going to wipe down all the loose dirt. And he's just going to have to live with the stains. Sorry, plumber. I'm going to do a dry brush first like my husband taught me. So gross. I feel like I need a mask. Careful not to bump anything. I think that's how the leak happened last time I bumped something. That's a lot better. I mean, the stains don't look great, but like, I think the guy will be okay laying on him. I feel bad that he has to like get under here, but at least the bottom part is clean, just not pretty. And here is our beautiful new faucet. Isn't it gorgeous? Look how sleek it is. I'm in love, y'all. All right, guys, let me take you on a tour of all the new features of our faucet. First of all, you can take it out like this and wash everything down. Isn't that cool? And if you press these buttons, it changes the stream. You got like a shower stream or this bubble thing. I don't even know what that's supposed to do. What is that? What do I need a bubble stream for? And the most impressive feature of all, no dripping. <laughs> when you turn it off, it stops. All right, leak is fixed, new faucet installed, and we are ready to finish out the under the sink storage. Before I can even get to the basket, I gotta throw away all this dryer lint that I pulled out and didn't put in the trash can. The dryer's right here. The trash can's right here. Why can't I just do it as I pull it out? It's because usually it's open like this. So I don't have an opportunity. Well, I guess I could. It's just, I'd have to touch it. The lid and that's gross. So I don't want to be gross. So I just put it up here and then forget about it. Drives my husband nuts. But that's why there's a bunch of lint blocking my way. Okay, so can I lift this entire basket by myself? Am I just going to hurt my back again? Stay tuned. Because <laughs> I don't know if, oh, this is heavy. is definitely too heavy for me to take like wholesale and put it on the floor and organize at my leisure as I had envisioned myself doing. So I guess I'm just gonna like go through it here standing up like a person who does their work standing up. So we are gonna have to do a little organization here just for me to like get into it because some of the stuff I've been putting on top of here like little things because they fit don't actually go under the sink so I do need to know what's staying here and I guess I could just throw it up there as we go but that's just gonna make decluttering the laundry room harder when we get to that and if this ends up being the first part of the laundry room declutter it doesn't make sense spending the first part of the video making laundry room even worse right <laughs> so I guess in this basket, I'm gonna put things that made it into this basket that are supposed to stay in the laundry room. So this is laundry related stuff. So that's like my dryer ball, 
Well, okay, that's that's all that I can see off the top. There might be more stuff, there might not. And this basket, I know it looks the same as the other, I just have two of the same basket, but this basket, I'm gonna put the stuff that I'm unsure about. If I wanna keep it under the sink or not, it's a little bit more daily stuff, daily use, and that might make more sense in the laundry room because, you know, I could reach like over here at arm's length. If this is the first video you're seeing of mine and you didn't watch my bathroom decluttering video, I figured out in my bathroom, which I have been maintaining by the way, it has been weeks now, maybe even months. Has it been months? It's been a hot minute for me anyway. As I've said, I can mess something up in 24 hours. So to have maintained something for weeks, I'm counting as a resounding success. So in the bathroom, what happened was I realized I was lying to myself by trying to store my things that I used on a daily basis, like every day, under the sink because I wasn't being realistic with myself and knowing that I wasn't going to be bending over and getting up under the sink to really put something back. And that's how just a wall of stuff was forming under the sink. But now I keep my very high use stuff out on the counter. Like I've narrowed it down to like five things that I use every day that I all fit in one little cup. And then my more like moderate stuff I use a couple times a week, I put in my cabinet that is just like arm's reach. I don't have to bend over or do anything to get to it. I just basically gotta open the door. See how I'm not like bending or anything. So I'm thinking when I do organize the rest of the laundry room, I'm gonna want my like daily cleaning stuff at this level, right? Or maybe not daily stuff, but yeah, daily stuff, or maybe even the stuff that I use a couple times a week or even once a week. But you know, if like my dust and stuff is under the sink, am I really gonna go get it? I don't know. So I'm gonna try to put the stuff like the weed killer or the ant killer or whatever, chemicals we use maybe like once a year. That stuff I think belongs under the sink for multiple reasons, but I think that's what I'm gonna try to be, to dig through here and sort through, prioritize getting that stuff, those chemicals under the sink first, and then whatever room I have left on the sink, we'll think about my medium use, like my weekly use stuff. Got to sneeze. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> That's, uh, I'm known for my loud sneezes. So under the sink, it should be definitely prioritized my yearly hardly use chemicals, then maybe if we have room, my weekly use chemicals. And I doubt it, but if we do have room, maybe, maybe, maybe my daily use chemicals. The only thing daily I think that I could really keep up with under my sink is like the dishwashing detergent. Because again, I could just reach in and grab that. There's not a whole lot of like cleaning involved with that. So anyway, to sort this out, this basket, I just heard it beep and I don't know where it came from. It sounded like it might be my laundry, but I didn't touch a button. Not even close to touching a button. <sighs> Did I tell you guys I thought I saw a ghost in my laundry room the other day? Really freaked my husband out. He's like, you gotta stop watching that Mr. Ballin on TV. But I can't help it. <laughs> they suggested it one day and I haven't been able to stop watching him ever since. But I just terrify myself on a regular basis. Anyway. There are lights on and we all know that ghosts can't go where the lights are on so it's not gonna be haunted for this video. So, daily use stuff or weekly use stuff. Frequently used stuff. <laughs> like my Plage Multi-Surface. Y'all know I love that. I have not tried this yet. My mom just gave it to me. It's a, I don't even know what it is. It's like a cream thing. She said it worked really great on her glass top stove. Oh, look at that. Can you guys read that? It says the UK's number one. Hey, all my viewers who are from the United Kingdom, all two of you, <laughs> is this something that you guys use? Is this your number one product? Because the marketing here says it is. I'd be curious to know. Leave me a comment. All right. Glade. I think this Glade Honeysuckle Nectar it feels almost full, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have purchased that. I think this might... Some of these cleaning supplies were here before I got here because this was my husband's place before I got here, before I moved in. So some of these things are not mine. Like all of these like really like once a year chemicals, I didn't purchase those. I just pretty much... My purchases are usually like Pledge, Shout, Spick and Span. And that's what I get. But I guess that would be daily use. So we'll put that in daily use. You know, I'm going to start a third basket. Y'all, this is broken on one side and the other side that broke earlier is like held together with duct tape. So that's how we're doing on laundry baskets. <laughs> I think we're going to put things that I'm not sure if we still need. I'll ask first my husband if he still wants it. And then if not, I'll ask my mom and our family in general if they want it. And if not, then it'll go to trash. So that's what this is going to be. This is the like, maybe leaving the house, maybe leaving the planet. No, never leaves the planet. Isn't that what they keep telling us? Maybe donated basket or may come back in depending on what my husband says. It's the questionable basket. Raid. 
because unfortunately, if you live in the South, you know about palmetto bugs. Is there a difference between palmetto bugs and roaches? They keep telling me, but I can't really see a difference. So, I don't actually think that's daily use. I think that will go back in here. Did I make a basket for go back in here? Hmm. Oh, I guess I could just go ahead and put it under the sink, right? I'll put it by the sink. Okay, y'all, I figured out what that noise was. It wasn't my laundry. It was my microwave timer that I had, like, started to set but didn't actually press start on. It, like, turns itself on after a while if you don't do anything to it. If you're wondering why I had my timer set, it's because this camera, for some reason, only records, like, 12 minutes at a time before it cuts out. But I didn't want to be talking to myself or actually do any work that I'm not going to get credit for. So I set a timer, but I didn't set the timer. So I'm glad I checked. <laughs> didn't lose valuable footage. So, since it looks like there's not going to be a lot since it looks like there's not going to be a lot of laundry things, I guess I am just going to do what I said I wasn't going to do, just throw it up here, stay, and use this for the stuff that is going back under the sink. So I'm not running back and forth to the sink every two minutes. So rain, definitely need that for sure. Glass cleaner. We've been kind of keeping the daily use over here. I don't know if you guys can see that like hooked on precariously over the litter box, which makes me really nervous. So I would like a better system for that. That organization might have to wait until we get to the laundry room. Cause I don't know if I can figure that out today. That's gonna take a lot of brain power. Possibly suggestions from you guys. Little sample pack to try out of a uh, Cascade Platinum. Still haven't used that, need to try that. So I guess logically that should go under the sink, right? 409. I don't know if this is just like spick and span. Obviously, I don't use it very often. I guess I should try it. Maybe it's good for the bathroom. What do you say you're good for? For use on hard, non-porous surfaces. Not recommended for use on soft vinyl varnishes or aluminum. For painted surfaces, test. Okay, I still don't know what they're for. I'll put this in the question category. Ask my husband what that's for. Scotch guard. This is definitely like a once a year or whatever you get a new appliance or boots in. So that'll go under the sink kind of dusty. <laughs> this scary thing, I have no idea what this is for. Crack and crevice? This is, but I know that my husband wants to keep this as important like once a year things. I'm guessing like for caulking or something. I don't know, stuff beyond my knowledge. Hand sanitizer. That should probably go, hmm. I'll ask my husband about that. We'll see, because he might want this in the bathrooms. We don't really want that in the kitchen, although I guess we could. We try not to overuse like the antibacterial stuff, you know, because apparently that like makes the bacteria stronger or something. So on a daily basis, we just use regular soap, but I can see situations where you want the antibacterial stuff, but I don't know if you're not trying to use it daily, does it make sense to put in a daily location? So I'll put that in the question basket. These are under the sink garbage disposal stuff. This is our old Brita filter we were using for the old sink thing, the old faucet. But looking at the new faucet, I really don't know if it's gonna fit on there. But under the sink, regardless. I don't know if we'll get a new one. Don't know what's gonna happen there. But I'm looking for some sponges. I guess they should go under the sink. Ah, Clorox bleach foamer. Says bathroom. So should that go to the bathroom? Can you use this in the kitchen? We'll put this with the bathroom stuff. Trash bags? These kitchen trash bags? I don't even know what these are. They're clear. They look too small to be kitchen trash bags. Ooh. They're too big for our little trash cans. Question box. Maybe someone can get good use out of that. Ooh, this stuff is getting dusty. Dishwasher rinse aid. This is before my time because I don't even know how to use this. Do you just, is there a spot for this in my dishwasher? Do I put it in with the dish? Like, do I just squirt it on the dishes? Hmm. I mean, I guess it would go under the sink, but since I don't actually know how to use it, we'll put this in the question box. Question box is rapidly just going to be like me asking my husband, honey, what do I, how do I use this? <laughs> or maybe my mom. More sponges. Bug stop. Yeah. So that's definitely gonna be under the sink. Kitchen and bath bleach cleaner. I guess I can go, since it says kitchen, we'll put that one for the kitchen. And the one that says bathroom can go in the bathroom, right? Goo gone. Don't like to use it often, but when I need it, I need it. Now, is this a laundry room item or an under the sink item? I guess under the sink makes sense. More sponges. Been looking for those sponges. WD-40, I put this in the Walmart pickup because you guys said I need to do this for the stains. Forgot to get the magic erasers though, so. But I guess that'll go under the sink because I don't foresee needing that a whole lot. Okay, I don't know what this guy is. Roundup, grass killer, I'll go under the sink. 
goo off. Hmm, is that just like goo goo gone? I don't really know what that is, but again, something I'm not seeing you need in, like weekly. Drano. Didn't know we had any of this. Then I actually go to the bathroom. I think that's where we're, our, our sink's doing great, so this is more of a bathroom thing. We'll put that in the bathroom. I'm gonna have to wash out these laundry baskets, I just realized, because so much of this stuff is dusty. I'm about to sneeze again. <laughs> ah, I don't even know what this is. Brake free lubricant preservative? Is this for cars? Cleans. Brake free CLP special cleaning action that breaks down oil, grease, blah, 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 blah. Penetrates me mechanisms to displace trapped gritty crime. I, I suspect my husband's gonna wanna keep that. I just don't know what this is for. I will put it back under. Well, hey, hubby. <laughs> when you're watching this, what is this for? I'm gonna keep it under the sink because I'm gonna assume you need it, but can you see it? Is this for cars? I love that my husband watches my videos because like I'll come across something and I'll want to tell him about it. Like in my daily life, even if I'm not recording it, but I won't write it down immediately because I'm like, oh, I'll remember that. I never remember that. I don't know why I do that to myself. Obviously, I'm not gonna remember it. But when I mention it in the videos, I'll still go back and forget it. And then he'll like, you know, days or weeks later, whenever the video comes out, be like, oh honey, here's the answer to that question you had. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I forgot I had that question. So this is handy. Oh, look how cute it is. We have a little thing that just dawned just soap. I don't know where that came from, but it's under the sink. Eco clean, bed bug defense. And that was before I got here. Probably want that. Hopefully we won't ever have to use that. So that'll go under the sink and my cat's going under the sink now. Hot shot fly insect. Seems like, like a theme here. <laughs> Lots of insect stuff. Lysol. Remember when this was worth its weight in gold? I saw fights break out over this in our Sam's. That can be like daily use, I guess. Don't try to use it daily, but more than a year. More insect stuff. Gosh, we don't want it. Eco clean. I guess we wanted a refill. Oh, here's a laundry thing. Fabric refreshener. Okay. That's gonna live up here since I didn't make a spot for it. Now we're down to the heavy stuff. Little thing of pine saw. Hey hubby, did you want to take this to work? Is that why we got this little one? Let me know. <laughs> My husband's a firefighter, if you didn't know. So his shifts at work are 24 hours. So it's basically like he's living there for a third of his life. So he has to do things, obviously, like, you know, clean. So we might have gotten that pine saw for him to clean at work because he knows I hate the smell of pine saw. I don't know if it's like something in the pine saw or it's just an association I had with it. I feel like we'll see if he wants that. You might just want a little bit of it around the house in case we like have a pine saw related emergency and need it. But it's definitely not daily. All right, now we're down to like the three big things that were really weighing this basket down. Carpet cleaner and huge like insecticide bottles. So, okay, that wasn't too bad. Now let's start putting stuff under the sink. We'll put this big guy in first, this guy in second, put this big guy in third, and look, we're done with that. Laundry room all decluttered. Just kidding. <laughs> Some more room for ourselves. Okay, so we got our big guys. I guess I could dust them off with my Clorox wipes. They are super dirty. Y'all see the color change on that? How about I accidentally like open this? I have no idea how this thing works. Oh, I guess that's a spray thing. Please don't spray me. Okay, that's it. Now I can clean it. Please don't spray me. Please don't spray me. Okay. How was this under here? Oh, that fits in. Okay, I'll clean this guy. Spider webs. It's ironic to have like spider webs growing on your insect repellent. <laughs> Gotta be some irony to that, right? Okay. These things can go in the back. Hopefully they don't even need to get used. Carpet cleaner. We don't even have a thing to clean the carpets with because I'm assuming this goes in one of those like vacuum or wet things. What am I trying to do? The steamers? <laughs> what are those things? Whatever you use to like shampoo the carpet with. Do y'all remember that? I feel like my mom would do that like once a year or something. That's when you couldn't like go in the living room or whatever. Never done that here, obviously. Do you rent those machines? Are they car carpet shampooers? So, that can go in the back. I think I should line it up like against the wall. Don't want it touching anything. Okay. Should have gotten some kind of tub to put this in to catch the water. Oh well. Hopefully it won't link before I get this like organized again. 
All right, all our various buggy things. Super rusty on the bottom. Can I clean the rust off? Will the rust just come back if I clean it off? I don't know. We're going to try. Bug stuff. So much bug stuff. Y'all, seriously, like every year, it might not even be every year, it might be like every season change, there's a giant ant pile that no matter what you do to it, it always comes back. That just like starts growing on our porch right around the door. And they have gotten in before. I have seen that. So we definitely need a lot of this big stuff. It's ridiculous. I'm trying to put the bigger things in the back so you can see them. You know they exist. So bad. I think I'm gonna have more room. I'm almost done here. Let's see. I might go ahead and start incorporating some of the things I wasn't sure about. If you're looking for a Drano Max, honey, it's under the sink. WD-40. I can go with the like goo begone area. Whatever this car thing is. I'll put this in the middle so hopefully it won't be out of sight out of mine. So if we need it, we know it's there. Dawn. Put the pine saw here too. If you need this for work, honey, it's under the sink. So much room under the sink to shove stuff. <laughs> Hopefully this is a workable system. Alright guys, the basket's empty, but I found some more stuff that I think can go under the sink. Like, some more sponges, more bug stuff. More, I'm guessing this is bug stuff. Insecticide, yeah. Ajax. Didn't know I had that. Ooh! Light bulbs. That's not good. Don't slip in the crack, light bulb. Okay. More bug stuff. Look, all this really should be my laundry room decluttering. Look how like clean the top of my thing's getting. More lint that needs to get thrown away. More dryer lint, whatever that is. Anything else? Resolve, that probably needs to stay out in the laundry room. This, I think went under the sink maybe. Okay, that stuff can go under the sink. here. Close up for more room. Okay, empty in the basket part two. A jacks under the sink for sure. like more daily use stuff like the Clorox, my saw. This can actually fit under here. I do think it would be helpful to get some baskets to kind of like keep groups of stuff together. So once I get like the higher priority areas done <laughs> and save some money for containers, <laughs> we may revisit under the sink to make it even more organized. Pledge. Do I want the pledge down here? I guess the pledge can go down here. Yeah, the aftershot of this is going to look ridiculously not decluttered, but it is what it is. I need it done this way. My detergent packs. I like them to go right here because I can, this is one of the things that I can like easily grab and don't mind getting down here every day. Same thing with my Clorox wipes. I keep finding these little things. I guess I could have put the 409 back here. Should try to use that up if need be. Put my hand soap there. This is an empty dishwasher container, and what I like to use this for, I think I already said, is my trash can. 
like my miniature trash can for when the door is closed. I'm working out here, so I like to grab this. That just lives out here. I guess I could put it on top there for now. Am I done? We're done. <laughs> I'll move this out of the way so you guys can see what I'm like showing you. All right, guys, this is what my under the sink is looking like now. I'm not sure that's going to look decluttered, like I said, as I've talked about ad nauseum. However, <laughs> here, does this look better? That looks marginally better, doesn't it? Yeah. So I don't think this looks so bad for how much room this is taking up in the laundry room. This is what like your average under the sink looks like in the kitchen, isn't it? Right? Yeah. I think in the future some baskets to kind of like and have like a bug section and then like a dish section and uh, like everything else section. That might really help to make it look better and a little easier to find. But for now, I think this is good because like I said I tried to put like all that stuff in the back if I use that like once a year hopefully this won't get too messy because I'm not using it very often and like this is the only thing I'm truly using like every single day so it's up front so I don't think that'll get messy and the the high the area that I'm worried about the most is this kind of like mid-use stuff well, I use the Clorox wipes pretty often, but like everything else that might get used sometimes, I foresee this getting cluttered again. But like I said, that's that's how it is for now. We'll just have to see. But this is how the laundry room is looking now after I got all that stuff back under the sink and look what a difference it made. I mean, none of the stuff up there is different, but like I almost have my entire dryer back now. So that's exciting. So I think that turned out pretty well. Like I said, the before and after shots might not be what I was looking for, but you know, it's real life. And I gotta take progress where I can get it, even if it doesn't look like it. I can at least tell you guys about it. And in my heart, I can know that it was something. <laughs> But I appreciate guys being here with me no matter what. And I hope you were motivated to get some work done while I was working. Or just enjoyed spending time with me. You know, whatever you watch these for. I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. So whatever this ended up being, a clean with me or a declutter, thank you guys for coming along with me and supporting me. And stay tuned to see how the laundry room actually turns out. It won't be next episode probably, but it'll be coming up soon. Because I'm encouraged by how much of a dent I made in it, honestly. So thank you guys again so much for being here. I can't wait to see you next time. Love y'all. Bye.